my Savior. Hallelujah. I come to Let's say it one more time, one more time from your spirit. I need everybody, everybody. The old. Come on, ask him. I need him. Tell him, tell him. When do you need him? When do you need him? Every hour. I need him. Oh, bless, hallelujah, hallelujah, me now, my Savior. Come on, think about what you need God to do. I took. See, the reason this meeting is called for us to get back to the presence of God and get back to depending on Him. And I don't know what you stand in need of, but I need God to speak in my life, in my pastor, then immediately. I need God to do some things in my life that He's never done before. Like the river, I've been running ever since. It's been a long, yes, sir, long time coming, but I know a change gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. It's been too. Living, but I'm not afraid to die Cause I know some up there Beyond the sky It's been a long time Long time coming But I know change gonna come oh yes it will Change gonna come. Change gonna come. If you trust in Him. 
time coming Oh, I know a change gonna come Oh, oh yes it
still trust in that's old school the Lord I will trust let me hear in the Lord let me hear you say it I will trust come on in the Lord how long until I to a Bible study lesson tonight. Let us begin by inviting the presence of the Holy Spirit as we embark on a journey of understanding through Revelation 4 and 10. Gracious and loving Father, we come before you in awe and of reverence, seeking your divine wisdom and revelation as we explore your word. We invite your Holy Spirit to guide us and open our hearts and minds in the truth you have for us tonight. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. Before we barrel into the depths of this scripture, let us take a moment to reflect on the historical background of the book of Revelation. It was penned by the Apostle John during his exile on the island of Patmos, under the rule of Emperor Donovan. The early church faced severe persecution at that time. And John wrote this book to encourage and strengthen the believers in their faith. Revelation 4 and 10, according to the Amplified Bible translation, beautifully expresses. The 24 elders fall down before him who sits on the throne, and they worship him who lives forever and ever. And they throw down their crown before the throne, saying, In this verse, the 24 elders represent the redeemed and glorified believers in heaven, clothed in garments of purity and righteousness. They humbly bow down before God Almighty, acknowledging his sovereignty and eternal nature. They act casting their crowns before the throne signifies their complete surrender, 
recognizing that they all honor and glory belong to God and God alone. Let us now explore the Greek meaning behind the word worship used in this verse. The Greek word, parasno, signifies the act of profound reverence and admiration, a posture of bowing down before someone in higher authority. It is an expression of acknowledging God, worthiness, and offering him the uttermost devotion. In the context of the biblical narrative, the scripture serves as a powerful reminder of eternal worship and praise that resounds in the heavenly realms. The 24 elders, through their action, teach us to signify and surrender our all to God. They demonstrate the beauty of casting aside our earthly achievement and acknowledging humbly submitting to God's will and honor him and glorifying him because all the glory belongs to the one who sits on the throne above. Today we can apply this biblical truth to Revelation 4 and 10 to our lives by embracing the Lord's sovereignty in every aspect of our existence. Just as the elders surrender their crowns, we are called to surrender our admiration, our desires and achievements before God. It is through this act we surrender and declare our complete dependence on God and God alone, recognizing that he is the one of all source and all power that we can need and that we believe on. One of the key insights we have gleaned from this verse is the essence of true worship. Worship is not confined to a specific time or place, but it encompasses every facet of our life. It is about living in a constraint of a surrendering our admiration and offering a heartfelt devotion to God and God alone. We can lay down our crowns of pride, control, and self-resilience by exhausting all that we have in the presence of God Almighty and experiences full reverence and full in his reverence and his awe. As we draw close to our study tonight, let us bow our heads once again in prayer. Heavenly Father, we gratefully and humbly seek your wisdom. We profoundly want to say thank you for the truth that was in your word. Help us, O oh Lord, to surrender our ambitions, our desires before you, acknowledging your sovereignty in every area of our life. May our worship be genuine and heartfelt, exhausting that you are the Lord and the Lord and the King of all kings. Empower us, Lord, by your Holy Spirit, that it will glorify you in everything that we do. Honor in your name. In Jesus' name we believe and we pray. Amen. Thank you, my beloved friends, for joining us tonight in this enlightened journey of Revelation 4 and 10. May the Lord continue to illuminate your mind and illuminate you through his Holy Spirit and his word. May your heart be empowered to live according to the word of God. God bless you abundantly. Thou shalt be my all on all. Tell him God is, God is. Oh, I, God is. Yeah. Somebody say, God is, God is, God is. Oh, oh, God is. Yeah. Oh, man. That's the same thing, same thing. God is. Yeah. <laughs> Thou shalt be my all this morning. Oh, my, 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 my. He's my all and all. Is that your testimony? Is that your testimony? If you glad God kept you, you ought to say, God is the joy and the strength of my life this morning. Somebody say, God is, God is. God is the joy and yeah. the strength of my life. He moves my, 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 my. He promised to, to what? To, oh, to be kept, never to leave me, y'all. He never, ever. Oh, my, 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 my. Keep my life clean, cause it kept me, I owe it to
to him. Why do it? Why? I want to go with him. One day he's coming back for us. And because he kept me all my life, I've come too far. And I'll never turn back. Can somebody say God is? If you know God kept you, say God. If I get happy, God is. He's been keeping me all my way. God is. Oh, my, 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 my. Yeah. Is that your testimony? Is that your testimony? Are you glad he's been keeping you? Y'all lift your voice and say it with me. God is, oh yeah. God is, oh my. Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oh, every move I make, he's every breath I take. He woke me up this morning and started me on my way. Somebody help me say it this morning. Somebody give him glory in this place.